Finally, on to reporting. So we've seen the views and charts within CRM. So they're very quick ways to get to the data you need to be looking at. We've seen export to Excel. We've seen the Excel Word uh, and Word templates in there. And we've seen dashboards and interactive dashboards. The last thing you haven't seen is uh, Microsoft Power BI, which is Microsoft's reporting tool that not only sits across the Microsoft products, also sits across the, well, any type of product really. You can, you can link Google Analytics into it. Yeah. If you've got any type of database, you can, uh, link Power BI into it. So this is Power BI. So it's linking through to CRM here and reporting back in sort of a visual way of the sales performance and sales leaderboard and things along those lines. So these um, can be created as sort of a casual ad hoc where people can come in and start to narrow down and change the filters over the side here to ch change the information uh, that's displayed here. Or they can be subscribed to as well. So they're automatically sent out. So um, GCC sales have a meeting every Monday. And so this uh, report gets automatically emailed out to the sales team on Monday and then they just come into Power BI and um, discuss the present state of the pipeline as well within the system. And then, you know, obviously, if you know how to use Power BI, you can create your own level of uh, reports within the system as well. And uh, just before I hand back over to Chris, Power BI, also has uh, an app for that, as you would expect. Everything seems to have an app these days. So again, once you're on the move, you can see your reports within um, your mobile application here as well. So we're looking at the same set of data here. Okay, so that's to conclude. That's sort of your very high speed over overview of uh, Microsoft CRM. I hope it was uh, useful for you. So